it's my birthday hey crafters and welcome to another video with amy makes that due to the amount of dms comments and messages that i get constantly about my hair today's video is going to be a vlog of me getting ready to do my hair for my birthday i'm just gonna let you guys know everything about my hair my routine what i do is this even my real hair color all of that good stuff but i will not be showing an in-depth tutorial on how i curl it actually that will be an instagram reel and also in the middle of this tutorial I will be showing you how I applied a decal to my hairbrush that I got so you kind of get a craft tutorial out of this so this is my hair um, this is not my natural hair I had to blow dry it yesterday I literally just washed it yesterday and I blow dry it with like a big bow brush I can't find it right now when I get out of the shower I like to let it air dry for 80% of the time because my hair is very heavy I have hold on let me back up this is my hair it literally touches my butt the first thing I do is I'm going to be curling my hair and I usually like to curl my hair on like the second or third day I don't wash my hair often I really wash my hair like every three or four days I know people are like how do you do that I got you with the tips but I'll get into that later so first things first is that I'm going to plug in my curling iron this is the curling iron that I use I will link it in the video description I'm going to plug this in and heat it up for shampoo I use head and shoulders and then I will use a clarifying shampoo once a month and it's great to just get all of like the gunk and oil and dirt out of your hair especially me like i'm constantly putting hairspray and like product in my hair when i'm filming and then i will use head and shoulders when i wash my hair i don't use conditioner at all i don't know why i just never really found a conditioner that i liked so i'm gonna brush my hair i'm gonna find the part that i have and then once i find my part i'm going to section off my hair now since i have a lot a lot of hair i like to section my hair off in parts from top to bottom i just take from like the ears up like on both sides and then i'll take my scrunchie and just put it up in a nice little bun this is the fun part Voila. And then I like to use heat protectant always in my hair. This is like the most important step you can ever do in your hair routine, especially if you're applying heat. And then I will take either a comb or brush and just brush it through my hair. I kind of use my fingers too, it helps. Because sometimes I don't want the brush to like take all the product, you know what I mean? And we'll just brush her through so again like i'm not going to show you my curling process i'm just going to curl my hair as i talk to you guys the, another thing is when i immediately get out of the shower when your hair is wet brush it with a comb don't use a brush and then when your hair is dry use a brush and the reason is because brushes tend to pull and like rip on your hair a lot more than combs do i have like a big big comb that i'll show you in like a few seconds i've just noticed a big difference in my hair especially this is also the hairspray that I use, Tres 3 Always by Tresemme. My mom used to use it, so that's what we use. So some fun facts about my hair. This is indeed my natural hair color. I put baby highlights in my hair once. And I mean baby as in like very light highlights, nothing crazy. I never did anything after that since, but this is my natural hair color. Some people think I'm a redhead, but I consider myself strawberry blonde because I do have hints of blonde in my hair, but also red. Like it's hard to explain, like in this light right now, I look like a deep redhead. Then certain lights, and especially in the summer, my hair gets super like just lighter i guess due to like the sun i guess we could talk about the length of my hair so i don't know the exact length of my hair but my hair has always been this long i remember i cut it for the first time really short when i was i believe in the ninth eighth grade ninth grade so after that i think i was 22 i had just met alex right before my birthday i was like i think i want to cut my hair and he's like okay like how long i was like no like i want to cut it really really short i cut it basically to like a lob haircut and i'll insert a picture here i was obsessed with it i never cut my hair that short it was so easy to maintain my hair felt so much healthier just do it at least one time in your life but that was the last time that i really cut my hair after that i've always gotten trims and people are like how do you keep your hair long i think that's the top question that i get with my hair and i'm gonna give you the answer 
and you're probably gonna not be happy about it or I guess, I don't know, maybe be shocked about it. My mom had long hair. I'm fully convinced that I have long hair because my mom had long hair and it's just genetics. I've never taken any of those hair gummies, like collagen pills. My hair's just always grown super fast. I'm gonna finish the rest of these curls and then like not look like this one. I'm back. I don't really use any other products in my hair, honestly, besides hairspray. When I curl it, you'll see I use like some texture volume spray just to like get some volume at the roots. Sometimes I'll use dry shampoo. If my hair is really like kind of dry and brittle at the ends, I will spray some like dry conditioner. I feel like I can't see you guys because my, <laughs> my hair and wires in the way. I'm sweating now. This is like the longest part though, where I'm just waiting for this to curl my hair. But if you guys have any other questions about my hair, just let me know in the comments if I didn't answer anything. I also don't like to curl my hair often. I kind of do it every week, every other week um, when I'm filming, but I'll batch film though. So I'm not curling my hair multiple times a week and putting a lot of heat on it, but try to keep not a lot of heat on your hair. A blow dryer is definitely better than a straightener because a straightener can go up to like 400 something degrees. Same thing with curling your hair. If you like the less you can put on your hair the better because heat does damage your hair. I get my hair cut I think once a year. I think I'm gonna start going maybe twice a year but I was gonna say a trick that I do I will curl my hair and then I will bobby pin it up in my hair. That is how I make my curls last all night especially if I'm like going to a wedding. That is my secret trick that I always make sure that my hair stays and doesn't drop. My hair does drop a lot because it is so long and heavy. Final last piece thank god I don't leave my hair like this i comb it a bit and then i'll hairspray and put some texture spray in it turning off the curling iron i'm gonna get changed and i will be right back so i thought this would be the time to share how i made my hairbrush decal with my cricut i'm going to skip a few steps in the beginning because i've shown this step several times in my past videos i always make a template and then uploaded my butterfly svgs that i personally made in procreate you can also buy them from sites like etsy creative fabrica creative market and then I rotated them I put two kind of looks like my tattoo on my hand which I thought was really pretty and then I added the text I used the font Lucille script which is again my favorite script font I used it for my wedding projects and I also changed out the letter Y to a bigger swash letter what I like most about this font is that it comes with a ton of swashes and different letter varieties so if you need help with adding a swash or learning how to access that please watch my swash video and I will link that in the cards here. So I hid everything. You can unite or weld the decal and then we'll click make it. Use the premium vinyl setting. We are using adhesive vinyl today which will be linked in the video description and I'm using a dark chocolate brown color. The Cricut will cut the vinyl and then I will use my pin pen weeding tool. I like using my pin pen for little tiny areas because it really pokes out the vinyl and makes it easier and then I'll use my weeding tool to weed the background. Then I'll apply my transfer tape and really scrape it down so I can get the vinyl adhered to the transfer tape, remove that paper backing, and apply it to the hairbrush. And that is how easy it is to apply any decal or any kind of vinyl to an item. And now I'm gonna love using my brush even more with this decal on it. Now I'll show you how I brush out my curls, add some volume, and the rest of the vlog. So my hair is pretty like dropped now on the bottom, so I'm, oh, I wasn't even in the frame. I'm going to just carefully run my fingers through. And then I use some texture spray. We'll pick this up lightly. Kind of underneath. And it really just adds a lot more volume to the hair. Now we're basically done. And I'm gonna film my TikTok and then we're gonna go. And Alex is waiting at the door like an angry man because we are running late. I forgot to show you guys the fit check. Black blazer, H&M. Don't know where this top is from. Jeans are from Abercrombie. And we're ready to go. And hair by but this is how I do my hair. I hope you guys loved it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out that IG reel on how I exactly curl my hair because I didn't show you in today's video. I hope this was the video of your dreams for everything about my hair. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You make me
Me wanna be with somebody Doing things that 